Okay guys, today we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the memory in this mid-2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch. The procedure is similar for a bunch of different older MacBooks, uh, any of the ones that have the panel on the bottom, as you'll see here. And we're gonna use this 16 gig kit. Uh, what's important here is that you're picking a kit with 1.35 volts. Uh, that's that's what's important, DDR3, 1.35 volts. I'll put a link in the description, uh, and I would appreciate it if you guys would use my links. Uh, we'll go ahead and start the process. Uh, you will need a very small screwdriver. It's gonna need to be a triple zero. I don't know if you can see that, but a triple zero Phillips head. Again, I'll, I'll include a link, and you're gonna go ahead and remove all of these screws. Okay, once you've removed, you'll have access to uh, the hard drive here as well as the memory. And what you're gonna do is right here, you'll just pull these right apart and it'll pop out just like that, okay? Okay, so you're gonna take your new RAM stick, make sure you've got the short side here, the long side there, and you're gonna just put it right into that bottom slot first, just like that. You're at a 45 degree angle to the board. You push it all the way in, make sure it's seated well. If it's not seated, it won't, uh, the, the laptop won't boot. And then just push down twice. And I take my second stick here, push it in firmly, and then push it down. And then what I'm gonna do is clean off all this junk from the old cover, and then I'll reinstall. Okay, so just did the install, we're at 16 gigs of RAM. If it's only showing eight, go to memory here and see if one of these slots is not registering as populated. Uh, it's it's kind of tricky to get that bottom slot uh, fully seated. So just check this if it's only showing eight and then open it back up and reseat the memory and it'll take it. The next upgrade for this laptop will be a solid state drive. Uh, the mid 2012 is the oldest MacBook Pro that you can get that will take Catalina. And so uh, obviously it's, it's gonna be the cheapest and with a memory upgrade and a solid state drive upgrade, most users, most casual users, probably won't notice any difference be between a new Mac and this one. Uh, so it's definitely a great value, especially since you can get the RAM kit for about 40 bucks and a solid state drive for about 20 bucks. So uh, definitely, definitely still a great value to grab one of these older MacBooks. Uh, if you like my video, please uh, like it and then subscribe. I've got a bunch of other videos posted as well and thanks for watching.